So the first thing, the first thing I want you guys to do is that I told you guys, put away. If you guys are going to solve this one-to-one -one property, if you're going to use the one-to-one -one property, the only way we can use the one-to-one -one property, guys, is to have the same base. So right now, you have a 3 and a 27. Basically, that's a 27 raised to the first power. So your two bases are 27 and 3. The only way to solve using the one-to-one -one property is they have to be exactly the same. So without changing the bases, we want to be able to say, you know, can we rewrite them? with the same base. And you always want to go from the larger number to see if you can rewrite it as the smaller base. So we say, well, can I rewrite 27 with the base 3? So you go down the list. Well, is 3 raised to any power equal to 27? 3 to the first is 3. 3 squared is 9. 3 cubed is 27. 3 to the fourth is 81. So you can just go down the list. All right? And you, know, you can just do multiply. 3 cubed is 3 times 3 times 3. So what you guys see is 3 cubed is the same thing as 27. Would everybody agree? So now what I do is I replace 27 with 3 cubed. Now that I have replaced that, now do you guys see how the one-to-one -one property exists? Or we can apply it? So the main important thing, the vision that I want you guys to have is when you're looking at a problem, the vision I want you guys to have when you're looking at a problem is to try to obtain the same base so therefore that you can basically, you know, as we say, cancel them out and just go ahead and solve for there. Solve for the powers. Okay. You guys want to try another one? Yeah. Yes. All right.